Did you know that each hour in an old Kentucky home, three people are diagnosed with cancer? And each hour, one person dies because of cancer. And you think you're not prone to that? No, no, you're wrong, my friend. In this room, one out of each two men and one out of each three women are going to be facing cancer in their life. The good news is, the scientists are working really hard and discovering many potential cancer drugs in their labs. But the bad news is, a huge number of those drugs that are discovered in the labs are not successful in humans. But why is that? Let's figure out through one example. Imagine that I'm the scientist who discovers a very promising cancer drug in my lab. What I would do next? I would use a cell model for drug testing. For example, two-dimensional cell model where the drug is tested on the cells that are grown on a flat two-dimensional plastic dish. Wait, we have three-dimensional tissues with dynamic blood flow inside them? So two-dimensional cell model is not quite similar to what's happening in our bodies, right? Now going back to our example, what I would do next as a scientist, I would try that drug on little cute animals, <laughs> which do not represent humans really well, right? So because of many physiological differences between cell models and animal models with human beings, current drug testings in the labs, also known as preclinical trials, are not often able to filter out those drugs that are not effective on humans. Therefore, we end up losing a lot of time, a lot of money, and of course, human lives in a human trial. Our solution, we came up with a biological marker scale chip for cancer studies. This chip is a marker scale platform for three-dimensional cell culture with integrated fluidic path. This means it not only allows the cells to grow in a three-dimensional environment similar to our bodies, but also include many tiny marker channels to replicate capillaries and continuous nutrition delivery to the cells. So what is amazing about it? Using this device, drugs can be tested in a more biologically relevant environment. Therefore, this technology can help scientists in preclinical trials to ensure that only the most potential life-saving therapies reach human trials to save not only time and money, but the lives of many patients in need. Thank you.